Hey everybody, what's going on? Today we're going to be working on the frame that's going to be going around the engine, the enclosure. But we're just going to be doing primarily the frame today. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be starting out with this. You're going to be cutting one piece at eight and one quarter. Okay? Here, let me adjust the camera here quick. Okay, that comes in a little bit better now. We're going to be cutting one piece at eight and a quarter. We have one end is going to be cut at 22.5, and the other end will be cut at 22.5 also. Now we're going to have another end here, another piece that's going to be cut at 13 and 5 eighths. Okay. One end is going to be 22.5 degrees cut. The other end is going to be 25 degree cut. Make sure you mark that. Make sure you mark the end that's 25 degrees. Then, you're going to be cutting another one that's going to be 19 and 5 eighths. Okay. Make sure you mark one end at 25 degrees. And the other end is going to be 45. Okay. So you got a 45 degree cut right there. 25 on the other end. 19 and 5 eighths, long. 13 and 5 eighths, 22.5, 25. See this 25 and this 25 will butt up to create a 50 degree angle. This 22.5 and this 22.5 will butt up to each other. That. And like that. Okay. Now I have this jig set up here, and this jig is for a 45 degree, so I'm going to be putting it welding these two here. Okay, well, looks like I got these all welded on, and, yeah, okay, now how I did this is, I offset it to be on the outside of the primary frame part, see how that is? And the reason I did it that way is because I would get more of a weld, a solid weld, if I welded it on the outside. Now when I tried to set this, I wanted to go a half inch, half inch to uh, uh, five eighths away from the, the corner here. But when I started putting this thing on, I couldn't hold it in the same spot, so I just had to tack it and weld it the way it is now. So it's about half inch to uh, five eighths there. but. This side over here, this was a little bit more difficult because I had to put all these clamps and stuff on this thing to make sure it was the right distance and I measured it, tried to get it about a, about a half inch to five eighths away from the corner here and then the point would be at half, halfway in between the steel and it didn't turn out as well as I thought it would, dang it. So I just had to weld it as it is and line everything up because you want this to be straight across from each other, this straight across from each other, and this straight down. Now this is the 50 degree angle. These two are the 50 degree angles. And these are the 45s. So they're going to come down and they're going to weld right onto the this front arch bar. Oh. And, oh dang it, man, got a little off there too. Shoot. Ah. Oh well. But, let's see. So the engine will go in the middle there, and then we'll be able to put, I will be able to put the sheet metal around here and I'll probably use 20 gauge because I don't have anything thinner than that. Uh, I've got this piece here 
Wait, no way, not that. That's 20 there, but I also got a whole bunch of little pieces of scrap when I did the Batmobile, so I still got all that. Plus on top of that, this will serve pretty much two two things. Uh, it'll help support the shroud that I'll be putting around the engine, and it'll also help support the steering column when I put the steering column in here. So it look pretty neat. Now the way I'm going to have to do this is because since I'm building this, since this is a full build for people out there who are interested in building this thing, uh, even though I got the the steering column for the Odyssey from George, I will still build this up and build the steering column and stuff like that for this thing. And then to show you what I'm going to be doing with it and that sort of thing. So I'll still be giving you all the dimensions and stuff like that on the pitman arm and all that kind of stuff too. So I'll do all that stuff and then once I get that stuff done then I'll be taking that all off and then putting on the the uh, Odyssey steering wheel and the steering column and stuff. So um, yeah, this thing's going to be put together and then hacked apart and put back together. So, <laughs> But okay so now to add some more extra bracing into this. All right, so uh, since they're welded on the outside of the bars here, they are going to be seven inches across. So I cut a piece of, oh God, never explained to you what this steel is. This is half inch by half inch .065 steel. Okay, so seven inches across, seven inch piece, and I measured down from the top here I measured down four inches, put the mark on both sides, and put this, this piece of steel above it. Now I'm going to weld that into place. So now the second bar, and I'm only welding two here, the second bar will be adjusted four inches. Where's my tape measure at? No, five inches. Okay, it's five inches from the edge here, five inches back. I made the mark and I put this, put the bar on that side of the mark. Okay. That's going to be pretty dang solid, just with those two little bars in there. Because I have to make sure that I'm going to have enough room for the steering column. If it comes up and that's too steep, then I need to be able to work where I can lay it down more. Yeah, got it going on. It's going to look like a damn speeder bike when I'm done. Well, okay, maybe not. Yeah. See oh, the aerodynamics of it? Yeah. It's going to look like a Star Wars uh, ship or something by the time I'm done. Well, looks like everything's coming together. Hey, I must be doing something right. I haven't needed a federal bailout. <laughs> okay, we got it turned upside down now. And I filled in uh, these two spots right here next to the motor mount just as for some extra bracing and the distance between there I had it at a 7 8 a little less than 7 8 so I want to be able to might want to put those things in well, I put them in there just for safety's sake and there's no specific distance so okay here. I oh, want about some gussets. Oh, we put some gussets in right here. These, this is a weak point right here, and this is a weak point right here. Yeah, let's start doing some of that. All right. Well, there we go. That's where we're at right now. That's where the way it should look. Now, the gussets that I was telling you about are these right here. I put those underneath there. I'll probably put some more up here. But show you what they are. Nothing special, they're just eighth inch welded in the middle. Okay. Oh, and this is what they are. Very simple. Two inch, two inches long, and just cut at 45 degrees. That's all they are. And then rounded, rounded out on these two corners. One of them is rounded out more than the other one is, so that way it compensates for the weld that's going to fill in there, that it's going to overlap. That's all it is. These little 
gussets, and those two will, are going to eventually go right in here. These here, try to get up in there. It didn't work too well. <laughs> yep. Well, there we go on those. I was thinking about just putting an angle, you know, just a straight, but this is a little bit more flashy. And then I'll be able, then another one will be here. And that's what I did today. Tomorrow I'll probably uh, put those uh, other gussets on and play around with a few other little things too. So, like always, thumbs up this video. Uh, what else? Oh, you could comment if you wanted to. If so, <laughs> all right, take it easy, everybody.